On the Hindu island of Bali, pork is eaten everywhere and you'll often find these street food vendors or restaurant owners glazing these pork ribs outside of their restaurants and the entire street fills with the aroma of the spice paste and the marinade and the fragrance of smoke and it is absolutely delicious. Hi, I'm Lara Lee, chef and author of Indonesian cookbook, Coconut and Sambal. Today we're going to make an iconic Balinese dish. It's Balinese sticky glazed pork ribs. It's got ketchup manis, a fermented sweet soy sauce, chili, garlic, ginger, and a whole lot of palm sugar. It's finger licking good, and it's gonna transport your kitchen to the streets of Bali. I already made two delicious sambal and some Indonesian spiced corn fritters. So if you haven't watched me make those yet, subscribe so you don't miss out. So this is one of those dishes that kind of is about five or 10 minutes prep, and then it's just two hours in the oven, you leave it, you go watch a movie, and you come back and it's done. I just love those kind of dishes. So what we need is a food processor, and we're gonna blend our sauce in this amazing machine. So I've got some chilies. I'm using medium heat chilies and I've kept the seeds in, but if you're a little bit sensitive, you can always de-seed them. And I'm just gonna chop the chilies into some chunks and I'm gonna pop those chilies straight into the food processor. I've also got some garlic cloves and also ginger. And I'm just gonna slice it into thin slices. I've got here some banana shallots, just chop them into chunks. I've got some palm sugar here. I've also got a little water some salt, rice wine vinegar, or you could also use white wine vinegar, totally fine. And I've got ketchup manis. Now ketchup manis is a fermented sweet soy sauce from Indonesia. You might call it Indonesia's favorite condiment. And it's essentially made using soy sauce and palm sugar that is infused with some really lovely aromatics like cloves or galangal or pepper even. And it just creates this lovely sweet and salty thick kind of sauce that you can drizzle over anything. Drizzling it over a fried egg is perfect. You can flavor noodles or fried rice with it. And you can also make a really good sauce with some sticky glazed pork ribs. And how easy was that? The sauce is done. So you can smell the sweetness, the tang, the spice, the heat. It is already mouthwateringly good. Now we're gonna marinate our pork ribs. Okay, I'm all kitted up, I've got my gloves on. So I've got my rib. Now you can use baby back ribs, you can also use spare ribs. And the key here is you want the meat to be falling off the bone. So if it's not quite tender yet, regardless of the kind of rib that you're using, just you know, do a little tug after two hours of cooking and if the meat falls off, it's ready. If not, keep on cooking it. Now I've got my sauce here, and I'm just going to add half of the sauce into the pork rib roasting tray, because the other half of the sauce I'm going to preserve, and I'm gonna kind of reduce on the stove just until it becomes a really nice sticky glaze. Now I'm just gonna rub the marinade into the ribs, making sure it's kind of touching the ribs all over. Then I'm just gonna wrap it up. Got my bits of foil here. I'm gonna pop these into the oven, just for two hours, put my timer on and check them after that. So while the ribs are in the oven, we're just going to reduce our sauce. So I'm just gonna pour it into a saucepan. So you want to reduce the sauce until it's nice and sticky and it will reduce by more than half. And it's going to be a glaze after our pork ribs are roasted in the oven. And it's also going to be a dipping sauce for the pork ribs. So our sauce is done, and it, I mean, look at that. It's just falling off the spatula, it looks so good. And our pork ribs are ready, so the big reveal. So the big test is, is the meat falling off the bone? Are we ready? I would say that's pretty tender. Let's have a little taste. Oh yeah, that is so, so good. And now I'm gonna glaze the ribs with this beautiful sauce. So I've got a pastry brush here. I'm just gonna dab it all over. And I say dab because that for me is the kind of technique that works for getting this really lovely jammy sauce glaze onto the ribs. We're about to put the ribs under the boiler. That's going to give it that kind of smoky flavor that's gonna really emulate the pork ribs that you find in Bali. 
I'm gonna pop these under the broiler. You gotta keep an eye on them. Three to seven minutes is about right, and it's until you see the top of the ribs get nice and caramelized, and it just smells really good. All right, I'll be back. So my pork ribs have finished broiling, and boy oh boy, did they smell amazing. They are so aromatic, and the glaze has darkened and caramelized exactly how I want them to be. These Balinese sticky glazed pork ribs are just perfection. They smell so good, they're juicy and meltingly tender and finger licking good. And it's the perfect kind of dinner party food. Invite your friends over, everyone can tuck in. And it's also something that you can make in advance. You can make it the day ahead and then reheat it in the oven and finish it off under the broiler before you serve it. So I'm really ready to tuck in now. I've served it with some sambal mata and some tomato sambal, which you may have seen me make in another episode. If you haven't, you can watch that episode by subscribing now. There's no elegant way to eat it, so you just gotta dive in. Mmm. Mmm. So tender, so sticky, sweet, spicy, tangy, all at once. My mouth is a little bit on fire, but I love it. It is just so good. Thanks so much for watching me, guys. I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts and comments on how you made your Balinese sticky glazed pork ribs, so can't wait to see that. See you later. <laughs> Bye.